cash on my wrist, but I want that dime. Niggas talk crazy when I pull up his ass. Niggas talk crazy when I pull up his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Bill Music. Drive a fire. Hi guys, I am coming your way again with this latest update in the mobility industry in Kenya. And as a mobility enthusiast with keen interest in the electric mobility space, I followed a development this week in Kenya where Rob Electric hosted Matatu Owners Association, one of Kenya's bus operating organizations at Rob headquarters. The event, which was covered by Standard Group, was an open forum where attendees learned about Rome Electric's bus operations. Before I delve into this, the Matatu industry is huge in Kenya, and these buses are built from scratch on diesel engine chassis with the unique graffiti bodies and the entertainment system in place. Now, due to the world shift to zero emission vehicles, there is a need for all countries to adopt this. Rome Electric and Bicycle, both e-mobility companies in Kenya, have imported these electric buses and these are currently operational in Nairobi, Kenya. As I mentioned earlier, Rome Electric hosted the Matatu Owners Association to educate them on the need to switch to electric buses to cut down green gas emissions. One thing about an electric bus is that it is silent because they contain electric motors and not a petrol diesel engine. Stay tuned and follow, drop a fire on the Matatus are usually known for revving like this. <laughs> and also the lighting and loud music. <laughs> Room Electric answered questions about financing, battery lifespan, driver training, operational costs and more. The building of the Matatu gives room for customization because it is built locally from scratch in Kenya, but these electric buses are already built and imported into the country. Will the Matatu culture be the same after making all these buses electric? Guys, if you enjoyed this edition, kindly subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you. Stay tuned and follow.